Well, here I am in the cockpit of my airplane. And uh, got the canopy closed and I'm just playing with the, the video camera and uh, recording a session here. Hi. Unfortunately, I'm kind of out of the frame. The canopy here is all covered over with protective plastic on the outside and, and uh, tape. It's like a thick electrical tape to provide a, an edge for painting and things like that. It's, uh, it's taped over, or a plastic over on the inside as well as the outside so that the plexiglass doesn't get scratched. But anyway, uh, this is the latch that opens and closes the canopy, or I should say unlocks it. Ugh, it's heavy. And uh, i got to figure out some way to mechanically lock it so that it uh, doesn't pop open in flight. Right now I've got this little spring lever and that's just not not going to work because if I close it from the outside and it snaps closed then I won't be able to get it open. <laughs> As you can tell I put cockpit lighting in here on a dimmer and I can have white or red. So uh, you know if I come out to the plane in the dark and uh, turn the master power on Tell you what, we'll just turn everything off and start from scratch here. Okay, so we've got outdoor lights on in the garage. So I'm getting some lighting from outside, but if I was to get into the plane uh, at night, and if I left the lights on inside, <laughs> turn the master power on and everything lights up and I've got lots of light to uh, see and get into the plane and get all situated and everything. Then when it came to actually time to start working with things, turn the key switch on. I'm just turning it on accessory right now because uh, it uh, I don't want to risk starting the engine in the garage. <laughs> so uh, this is the uh, control stick for roll left and right elevator up and down. Right now uh, none of that is connected because the uh, the canard is off so there's no elevators and the wings are off so there's no aileron. But there's lots of uh, control buttons and key, key button or a trigger button there and a little button under the end. All in all there's eight switches. So uh, all these buttons across here all light up. See it? Comes on. Well, it's actually red, but because of the sensitivity of the camera, it washes out, as is this. It's a deep red. But uh, once I get to mode ready to fly, I can switch the lighting over to, to red and uh, Turn it way down so that I just have a minimum of red lighting in here. Or I can turn it off completely. And the dimmer works on this light, all these lights as well. And they're real bright and they're real dim and off. Of course I wouldn't want them off at night, but you know I could turn them way down to where the red light doesn't bother me. You know, if it's if it's dark outside, you don't want a lot of bright light. So this is an autopilot panel and it could be set so that the plane would just fly hands off. It's even got this neat little button right here. It says level. You poke level. And whatever attitude you're in, it goes to straight and level flight. Cool, huh? There's three knobs here that operate uh, three of the more common functions on the display panel. Uh, this is the, right now I'm showing all engine stuff. This is the manifold pressure, this is tachometer, this is fuel consumption in gallons per hour, oil 
oil pressure, oil temperature, battery volts and amps, uh, in other words, charging and discharging, you know, like a car uh, volt and amp meter used to have in the cars. This is fuel pressure. These are uh, cylinder head temperatures for each of the six cylinders. Right now they're all seeing 71 degrees. They all match. <laughs> And this is an exhaust gas temperature. It's measuring the, the temperature of the, the exhaust gas about oh, about three inches from the uh, exhaust ports in inside the exhaust pipes. And right now they're saying 71 degrees too. When it's running, it's not uncommon to see about 1,350 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the flame temperature coming out of the exa exhaust. And if one of those reads a lot lower, you know something's not working right in that cylinder. Same thing, the cylinder head temperature will drop down too. Uh, these four lights here are actually green right now, except that one which is red. These two indicate the header tanks, which hold about a gallon each of fuel. I've got left and right fuel systems, so the header tanks are... Uh, uh, the last bit of last gallon of gasoline. So as long as they both say full, everything's fine. But if one of them turns red and and says hazard down here instead of left header, for instance, then uh, I know I've got a, a real low fuel situation on that side. Uh, this is canopy, and it says open. It should say closed because the canopy's closed, but the lever's not closed tight. There it goes. And it, uh, I've got some adjusting to do yet there. But it, uh, when it's fully closed and latched, the, uh, it trips a micro switch back there on one of the latches. There's three latches. And this one right here is a landing brake, up and down. And it, you can see the lights go on over here. That's red, that's green, or down and up. And off in the center. Okay. But there's all kinds of stuff here. There's radio frequencies indicated. Uh, I can touch that. It's a touch screen display. It brings up different radio frequencies and they control uh, over here. I also got push buttons here to choose from and there's several ways of doing different things. So now if I want to have, uh, let's see, full flight display, there's my primary flight display, and airspeed, uh, vertical uh, altimeter here, vertical speed here, uh, the compass rose, you know, a heading indicator, and this is an attitude indicator to indicate whether we're nose up, nose down, slightly left roll, left and right roll, and the little ball between the lines here, you probably can't see it, is uh, kind of a skid indicator. It shows the whether you're flying straight or you're kind of cockeyed, you know, whether you're going on straight or whether you're, you're cockeyed like that or cockeyed like that. And uh, a lot of other information, GPS altitude, next waypoint, how far that is, this is all the stuff you can program in. Uh, distance to waypoint, estimated time of uh, in arrival at the next one, your location in, in uh, degrees and minutes and seconds. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Destination waypoint, distance to go and nautical miles, ETE final, ETA final. I'm not sure what the difference is there. Uh, but anyway, there's there's an awful lot of stuff built into this. This is a uh, magnetic compass. Oh, I was going to tell you, this is the intercom. Another green light that looks white. But there's a two-place intercom in here. And the jacks are back on the, on the headrest on my right side. And this is nose gear up and down with an emergency extend and an auto defeat. Uh, like I can raise the nose up, you know, up and down. Of course, you can't tell <laughs> we were we we're moving there. So that all works too. 
manual trim control, nose up, nose down, and this one is, you just barely see the shiny tip. It, it slides left and right and gives you a left and right trim. So these are trim controls. Uh, I think eventually I'm going to put uh, motor driven controls on that and then I can use the uh, the buttons on the uh, let's turn that up a little bit so you can see the buttons on the joystick left and right trim uh, uh, and nose up and nose down trim so that's what this little top hat's for okay let's turn that back off or way down oh let's see this is position lights this is strobe lights, this is landing lights, and that's actually got a fan on it. You can hear the fan go on and off. Okay, this one doesn't do anything. Uh, taxi lights, I don't know if you can see those out, yeah, you can outside and just shining on the garage door. And wigwag, they flash back and forth there's two lights, one on each side. And these are left and right fuel pump motors. I don't want to run them right now. And this is the uh, white and red switch, and that's the dimmer. Uh, this is an engine startup checklist I've just taped up here, and this is a, uh, a paper cutout of a smaller version of this. And it just kind of kind of makes it nice looking. Anyway, I guess that's it for now.